that's the thing about a horse. They'll, they always do what we tell them to do. It's sometimes we're just not aware that we told them to do that. Yeah, I, heck, I didn't, I didn't tell him to do that. Why did he do that? Well, you probably did tell him that. You just weren't aware of it. So when your level of awareness comes up, your results are going to improve greatly. Hi, Dennis here at Capital Training Shoeing. I got a question for you. Do you like the results you're currently getting with your horse? You know, I haven't always liked mine. <laughs> to be honest with you, it has been a journey, a lifelong journey, that I continue to be on to improve myself and continue to learn. And, uh, you know, right now we've got over 260 videos up on YouTube. And, uh, you know, that's free content for you and it's good information. But I'd like to let you know about some other things that we have that you might not might not be aware of. One of them is what we call our, our Confidence Amplifier course. It's going on through the month of January. And this is a course that has in it the four elements that we have learned over the, <laughs> the last several decades that are absolutely necessary in order for a person to uh, have the confidence they need to be the leader that they need to be for their horse. If you, if you show up as a leader you need to be, your horse is going to willingly do what you want them to do. And, you know, it, it is absolutely amazing to me how that comes about. And like I said, I haven't always known this. I mean, this is brand new information. And it's information that, that I have gleaned from, from people uh, you know, some of them I don't know, some of them aren't even alive. Some of them I've, I've read books like Earl Nightingale or Maxwell Maltz or some of those kind of books that, that talk about the power of the mind, uh, you know, and, and how important it is to, to keep a positive attitude about things and, and how to uh, develop the, the term that I use the most. If you watch many of my videos, you heard me talk about a clear mental picture. What the heck is that and why do you need it? I believe it's everything. I believe that the clear mental picture tells you when to do what, and it gives you perfect timing. And what else do you need to communicate clearly with your with your horse? You know, and it's such a valuable tool. Uh, but the confidence amplifier course, you can get in that for the less than it costs to come here and take a a lesson from me personally, and uh, you get to ask me any question that you might want, you know, and, and it, it, it is personally developed for your your help. The first part of it is the mental aspect of writing and how do we get our mind right? How do you develop a clear mental picture? Why you need to develop a clear mental picture? And, and where does it come from? You know, it, at the, the next part I think is equally as important. It's called the reading of the horse. Because if, if we don't know what the horse is actually feeling, and what the horse is saying back to us. It's not a conversation. We're just out there moving our horse around, you know, and we, we're unaware of what, how the horse is responding to us. The next part is, is exactly how to get in a position of influence, I call it, and, and that would be a position where you can communicate clearly what you want your horse to do. And when that horse, you know, when you position yourself in a way where, where the horse doesn't have very many choices, he, he just does what you want because it's presented in such a clear way. He knows exactly what you want. They'll willingly do it for you. That's the thing about a horse. They'll, they always do what we tell them to do. It's sometimes we're just not aware that we told them to do that. I mean, I, heck, I didn't, I didn't tell him to do that. Why did he do that? Well, you probably did tell him that. You just weren't aware of it. So when your level of awareness comes up, your results are going to improve greatly. Your level of awareness of how to prepare your mind, your level of awareness how to read the horse, your level of, of awareness on how to position yourself. Now, I'm not just talking about groundwork here. I'm talking about how to position yourself on their back so that they feel. You know, that's the only difference between groundwork and riding is we, we transfer what we're seeing when we're on the ground to that of feel when we're on their back. And then the final portion of that is how to utilize energy. In other words, how to get uh, control of the gas pedal on your horse. <laughs> so you've got it, you've got the ability to, to bring him up to full RPMs or all the way down to an aisle, all the way in between anytime you want so that you can implement what you're wanting him to do when you want him to do it. And you talk about changing your results when you have all of those things in place. 
things will really start to happen. We also have some, some resources online. We have courses online that uh, are available to you. And, you know, that's one of, the, one of the things I hear a lot about uh, people that make comments on the YouTube channel is that they wish they lived closer so they could get lessons. Well, we've got resources. You know, go to our website, and and there's there's a multitude of things that you can learn there. You can you can uh, schedule a, a private uh, uh, a video lesson for me, so I can actually you can have, take a lesson from me at a distance. That's a very valuable tool. There's many others on there. I mean, too many to go through now. So just go to the website, and so you can find it. And then we've got all of these books here. We've got one especially about. The Secret Key to Better Horsemanship, it's about what the clear mental picture is and how to develop it. Such a valuable tool. So we've got all of these resources for you as well as the uh, YouTubes that are already up. We put up a, a, a new video every week and we'll continue to do that. But we wanna, we're here for you. We want to help you reach your goals. That's the comment that, that we get from a lot of people. <laughs> you know. I'm actually able to reach my dreams with my horse, you know, and, and, and who doesn't want to reach their dreams? You know, there is hope. You're never too old. It's never too late. It doesn't matter what the past is because today is a new day. And with armed with, with different information, you can have a different future. And that's what we're here to offer to you are, are the things that we've gleaned over the years that we know work. And we want you to have access to it in the best way you can. Thank you very much.